You know where the real cool kids hang out? In the graveyard. <laughs> oh, I'm here in the graveyard on the hill today. See the Manhattan skyline in the back? Oh, Greenwood Cemetery. Studying a little death today. Take a tour, you ready? Let's see the graveyard. Let's see the graveyard. There's ghosts, watch out. <laughs> I uh, love this place, man. So, Greenwood Cemetery. But I'm going to talk about some death today, right? Tomorrow's 9-11. Like, there's a hundred, I believe there's a hundred victims that are buried here in Greenwood. Hundred 9-11 victims, assorted victims over the years. Beautiful old cemetery, man. Very peaceful. Sometimes you could see owls and hawks. Big old oak trees. Really fascinating place. People don't like graveyards. I don't know why, man. I think it's the ghosts. That's right. They don't. They're people are afraid of ghosts. There's no fucking ghosts, man. That's bullshit. Man. There's no ghosts. Ghosts. <laughs> I was just. In fact, I was just talking to a guy. Fucking guy, right over there, man. No, it's over there, right? I'm talking to him. I said. I was raking the leaves. I said, hey, man, do you ever see a ghost in this place? He goes, nah, I never saw no ghost. I've been fucking up in here, you know. I never see no ghost, huh? It's like, ah, oh, that's what I thought, man. Everybody's there afraid of ghosts. I said, how long have you been working here? He goes, I don't know, about 300 years. <laughs> oh, 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 fucking crazy, man. This shit is dope, man. I, I don't know, man. That shit was dope, man. I don't know who the fuck that guy was. <laughs> anyway, so so I walk in the graveyard, man. Graveyard strolling. I'm loving it, man. So let's talk about this. Uh, I'll talk, give a little, a little uh, news today. There was actually, when you see death, you say to yourself, well, we're going to be alive for a long time. But how long are we going to be dead? Maybe eternity, right? That's what they say. I don't know if I believe it. But anyway, so so I was I was looking at a report. At Albany, uh, I'm sorry, Alabama probe probes five cases of lung disease tied to vaping. Ooh. <laughs> Remember when they said vaping? Vaping doesn't uh, it's, it's, no, no, no cause cancer. No, no, no. It's, it's healthy. It's it's healthy. It's it's um it's steam. It's vapor. <laughs> it's good for you. <laughs> Uh, now it's now it's the five deaths, right? That's just a matter of time, you know. How do I look? How's my beautiful hair today? <laughs> the dead people don't mind. That's why I come here. Listen to how quiet it is in the middle of the graveyard. You wouldn't even think you're in the middle of Brooklyn, busy Brooklyn. Ooh, almost tripped. I almost killed myself in the graveyard. So, so according to the Alabama State Department, uh, the Alabama State Department is requesting info from health providers on any cases of suspected respiratory illness among patients who vape. So, it's an ongoing study. Severe lung disease associated with electronic cigarettes or vaping. I just think it's funny because I, I, I smoked for a very short period of time. I smoked, you know, fields of pot, you know, as a young person. But if, in terms of saying, you know, and, and, and quite a bit of crack at some point <laughs> early on. Uh, but uh, as far as cigarettes, I never really got fully addicted. I did chew for a while. I chewed, I chewed tobacco for a while. And, um, but anyway, so everybody thought that vaping was the safe way. Don't quit. You don't have to quit smoking. You could just... You could just vape your ass off, right? And fucking, you know, it's legal. And it's, 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 it's not really smoking, right? You're, you're beating the, you know, you're, you're beating the, beating the buck there, right? So, as of, here's the statistics, right? Most cases are among young adults and adolescents. Symptoms include chest pains and vomiting. Hmm. Do you vape? 
we got a uh, you know you, you should they should give when they when they uh, give out the when you buy vaping right you should get a certificate for a for a coffin and a plot <laughs> that'd be cool right you get like a package deal I think they should do that with motorcycles too you know when you buy a motorcycle you should get a you should get a grave a plot right <laughs> because that's where you're going <laughs> eventually you're gonna end up you, the bike is gonna put you in the grave uh, so. According to the Center for Disease Control and Prevention, 450 possible cases of lung illness associated with the use of vaping across 33 states. Five deaths have been confirmed in California, Illinois, Indiana, Minnesota, and Oregon. That's a lot of death. It's really not, I mean, it's a fractional amount. Five people. How many people die of cigarettes? Let's take a look. Cigarette smoking. 480,000 deaths per year. Ho, ho, ho. 41,000 from secondhand smoke. Ah, so you got to be one of those people when you walk by the smoke. That's me. I walk by like this. Come on. You're fucking killing me over here, right? You're killing me. Even like now in New York, you smell pot everywhere. Uh, secondhand smoke. It's a killer. To the tune of 41,000 lives a year. On average, smokers die 10 years earlier than non-smokers. <laughs> it's a great place to talk about death, right? There's a sadness in, the, in this place. Now you feel like, like it's, it's hard to explain. It's like you feel the, you feel, although that death is part of life, it's really death is the, the celebration of the death. The burial of people is something that happens for the living. Right? Because the dead guy, he doesn't care where he's buried, really, should he? I don't know. Ooh, you want to see some, want to see some uh, mushroom? A little mushroom. Joystick doesn't like down. <laughs> anyway, some mushroom over there. Orange guys. They're pretty cool. But the cemetery is for the living. It's for the families. It's for the people who still have to go on another day without the loved one. Isn't it? I think it is. Right. So tomorrow is 9-11, 2,977 2, people died in that tragedy. Almost 3,000 people died. About 100 of them are buried here at Greenwood Cemetery in Brooklyn. That's a lot of people, 3,000 people in one day. More here than in all of, uh, what is that, what's the statistic? Uh, D-Day, <laughs> or no, I'm sorry, the one in uh, Pearl Harbor. More people died on 9-11 than in Pearl Harbor. And today we're not going to talk about, I'm not going to talk about the conspiracy theories. I know, it's a conspiracy theory. It didn't really happen, or it didn't happen the way they said it happened, or oh, there was no planes, or there was, it's a, it's a hologram, or there was a, Controlled demolition. I've heard every story, right? Does it really matter? The point is people are dead. Right? In the final analysis, people died. This is pretty cool. So this is these guys. I think these people may have been 9-11 people. Looks like a fresh grave. 2012 now? No. <laughs> well, maybe they died afterwards. There's people here too. I, I've seen tombs... Graves of people who died after the fact. Lung disease, right? So we choose our, we could choose our life, right? Because you choose to smoke and die. But you don't choose to go down in a building because a bunch of kooks decide to knock it down. Or your own government through controlled, controlled demolition takes it down. Whatever the case is. Because that, none of that really matters when you're dead. Who did it? Right? You're dead. Right? Ultimately, you're dead. 
You are one dead mother effer. Excuse me, I didn't mean to curse. You guys ever seen any ghosts? <laughs> I'm the funniest guy in the cemetery, man. It's fucking all these people are dead. It's fucking dead humor around here. <laughs> this is how you live a long time, man. You laugh at death, man. Can't hurt you. Fuck you, death. Fuck you, death. All right, so 2,977 people died on 9-11. 343 firefighters, 71 law enforcement. You know, and need, to, need need we mention one trillion animals per year? They don't even get a mention, but I'm going to mention them. One trillion animals per year die at the hand of humans for food, for quote food necessary food that isn't really necessary. But we don't consider those people. We don't consider them people. They're not people. They're just. Uh, they're things, they're objects, right? Objectified. Oh, but that human, oh, so precious. Animal, pff, eat them. So, Marcus Conti reporting, just doing a little graveyard graveyard stroll today, contemplating death before tomorrow, the big 9-11. The big 9-11. Ah, I was there, and I saw it. I might go down there tomorrow. It's something really to see. I mean, I've been there every year for years. You go and you see the families and you feel, you see the weeping people. You might see like, you know, it's all carted off. You can't get in there unless you are somebody, unless you're, you know, an important politician. You remember when Hillary Clinton collapsed? <laughs> remember that shit? She came out of 9-11, she collapsed. Fucking bad health. You feel alive in here. But th there's that sadness. I can't, I can't describe it to you. It's... I guess it's because of the the monuments and the imagery is very sad because people when they're burying people rather than being happy they're sad and I guess that sadness is in the imagery but I, I think you could see the Freedom Tower from here see it that's the Freedom Tower right there so that is the scene of the crime so this is the graveyard on the hill in Brooklyn uh, Built in 1838. Wow, 1800s. I wonder if it'll be here in another hundred years. Will they just level it and build condos? Because <laughs> once all the dead families are dead, right? The dead families are dead. They don't. There's a lot of a lot of the new graves. You see like flowers and and there's presents and people, you know, popping up here and there. But you look at some of the really old graves. There's nobody. Nobody's been here for a hundred years. You know, some of these, some of them, some of the plots are in the ground since the 1850s, 1840s, 1830s. It's a long time, man. So, so what's the moral of the story? Live it up. Be nice to one another. Be nice while we're alive. I don't know. <laughs> I guess I, I've grown, I've grown more and more suspicious of people. <laughs> if you haven't figured that out yet, more more skeptical of their motives. This is pretty cool over here. Just step between two graves. Ooh, I fit. It's a really weird, weird stones over here. What's up, fellas? That's a mom and pop. <laughs> What's up, mom and pop? It's not disrespectful to have fun in a cemetery. People should should celebrate it, right? They should be happy people are here visiting. If not me, who? Oh, I got a spider web. Just walk through a spider web. See a spider? Get off me, spider. Get off me, spider. <laughs> wow, what a spider web. What a web that guy weaved. I walked right to his web. See the web? Oh, sorry, guy. Sorry, mate. I'm sorry. I'm going to pick you off and put you away. I don't want to. I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to hurt you, but get off me! Get off me, bird! <laughs> oh man. So anyway, Mark Scott reporting. Oh, be nice to each other. That's what I was trying to say. Be nice to each other while we're still here. You know. 
while we're still here. Stop cutting each other up online. Start speaking to each other like human beings and not objects of, 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 of hostility. Stop suing each other. <laughs> Stop suing each other. <laughs> Stop attacking each other. Make, make, make hearts and loving blow kisses at each other. Say I love you. I love you. <laughs> That's what we should be talking about, man. Not like the 50s hippy-dippy shit. Like, oh, everybody should love each other. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm, I'm talking more about tolerating each other, right? That's what I'm talking about, right? Work for an economy that works for all people, right? All this crazy income and wealth inequality in our country, right? 99% of the people controlled by 1%. Pfft, that ain't right. Healthcare, make it a right, not a privilege. Yeah. Break up the banks. Banks have all the money. The rich cocksuckers take all the money for themselves, put it in their pockets. We're not living right. That's what I'm trying to say, right? And then we go online and we're all fighting amongst each other when we're being ripped off, you know, on a grand scale. Because we're going to be dead soon, right? Not gonna, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it. Right? Look at Epstein. He thought he was going to make it. He thought he was going to make it. With teenage girls and all. Yeah. So tomorrow's 9-11. We mourn the deaths of 3,000 people that lost their lives. Not through smoking vapor. Well, not through smoking cigarettes, but getting smoked by someone else's agenda. Yeah. You may never know exactly what happens. Happened. Does it really matter? I don't know. I don't think so. But it is close to home in New York, man. This shit is no joke. That shit is no joke. Marcus Conti reporting.